track will be updated every six or so hours or so. This is the latest one we have. Right now, the wind's up to 130. The actual center of the storm is about 845 miles southeast of Cape Fear, uh, North Carolina. By the time it reaches the coast, we expect it to be from a category four down to maybe a three with winds of 120. And then very quickly, as it comes inland, It'll be quickly downgraded to a tropical depression or a remnant low by Saturday. The wind's only around 30, so the wind field will collapse completely. But the rain field, that's the biggest, biggest issue. And the storm surge with that could reach 15 feet along the North Carolina coast, up to even as far north as maybe the Virginia border. Here are the tracks once again, very consistent heading towards central portions or southern portions of North Carolina. After that, very interesting. Some have it going down to the south and southwest. A few have it headed out toward the Midwest. The Baltimore region, primarily well north of that, it looks like it's going to stay pretty far south of us. But the influence here will be noted, particularly Friday into the weekend. Meg is looking at what we may be seeing around here. Meg? Yes, hi there, Bob. We're live with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab. We're here in Canton at the waterfront, and I want to talk about the local impact. So, as you've hearing us, we've said for over the past few days, it's still very early on to tell. Now, the impacts are the highest is still very heavy, prolonged rainfall. However, once Florence does as it, what it does as it moves inland will greatly determine how much rain we end up seeing. So we still don't have a good idea of how much rain to expect. In addition to the rain, we're dealing with the strong winds. Now, the good news is that the strongest of the winds are going to stay to the south of us. However, based on how saturated the ground already is, it wouldn't take significant winds to have down trees, to have other damage based on the very moist soil at this point. We also also have our eye on coastal concerns as for the timing Friday through Sunday. I want to show you the areas that are looking at the potential for this coastal flooding. So what we're expecting is a strong easterly flow and that could be bad news for the bay as it would push the water obviously onshore. So that's why we're looking at that threat. Again, we're keeping a very close eye on this. This is something we'll really be watching as we move closer to the end of the work week and, of course, the weekend. So stay with us on that. For now, I'm Meg McNamara, live with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab, and I'll send it inside to the studio.